Well, hello from a very smoky, hard to breathe, Nine Mile Falls, Washington, on this Saturday, July 19th, I guess. I don't even know anymore. Anyways, a few of you have asked about this specimen here. Uh, I guess for whatever reason, I didn't put it on YouTube, but it's on every other social out there. So, uh, let's get into it. So, January 31st, 2023, driving south on I-15. Um, I think it was up by Hammer, Idaho, minus 24 degrees, and uh, catastrophically lost oil pressure. She put all the uh, the coolant in the oil pan and left me right there alongside the road. So that was awesome, by the way, if anybody was curious. So there is the valve cover and multiple pieces. There's still some of it there on top of the motor. Yeah, it the uh, it blew the oil cap off. It just made a mess. And uh, there's no way in hell I'm going to spend the money to fix and rebuild the Max Force. Not for what the kids cost and what. So I have sold the ECM. High pressure fuel pump is still available. On this side, the turbos are still available. The ACV, the Jake brakes are still all in one piece. Uh, you know, the centrifuge for the oil, maybe even the coolant filter. I may put that on the other truck. But for now, it's just yard art. I'm pretty sure the plan is to build a mechanical cat B or C model and put in it. That is the easiest swap because nobody makes a harness for it so it's just yard art i took the aluminum wheels off and put them on my trailer and this is where she sits 909,000 miles when it let go and that's more than most max forces will ever see so i think i did all right with it i paid 10 grand for this truck and i made a, an absolute ton of money for it with it so it's okay so like i said i made a ton of money with this truck and uh, it took me all over the country, bent back to the East Coast with it several times. And uh, then I had a few uh, questions on the new truck. So we'll get into that next. And then I believe it was February 18th, I picked this truck up. It is a 1990 uh, Kenworth T600A, uh, B model cat, 13 speed, 24 five tall rubber. It's got an APU system on it, and uh, I paid 15 for this truck, and really I haven't done much to it, you know, basic maintenance and an exhaust manifold. That's, uh, <laughs> that's pretty hard to beat, and this truck has taken me to the East Coast and back twice already, and to boot, pulling light, I get 7.3 to 7.7 .7 out of this mechanical cat. Where that thing over there, best I could get was 6.1 to 6.2. Running the same speeds. I run 70. That's just what I do. Um, open up the hood and uh, show you what's going on under there. So like I said, new exhaust manifold from CTP for the outer sections and PAI for the center section. Stock turbo. That is the next upgrade she will see. Um... I also did have to do the intercooler on this truck. It was leaking pretty bad. So the intercooler and manifold and just regular maintenance other than that. So I'm pretty, pretty damn happy with it. No computer, no emissions, no ELD, nothing. All in all, it's a, uh, it's a very inexpensive truck to run up and down the road. We are converting things to LED and adding some lights to it today. Since the weather's pretty nice, except for the smoke in the air. But yeah, um, the fuel's been adjusted. The pump has been advanced on the timing. And uh, according to the calculation, 19.3 uh, horsepower per pound of boost. 27 pounds of boost. I'm somewhere in that 520, 525 range is the calculated guess for horsepower. And uh, she is a runner. You know, very basic dash, 
And everyone's like, I mean, look at that. Cruise control on the B model. Who would have thunk? It's got the sunroof, which is probably one of my favorite parts. I got stuff coming to get my XM radio in here. I've just been slacking on that. I need to upgrade the CB. Spin around. You know, 72 inch aero cab. Got a fridge back there and all my stuff to cook. The APU, I'll show you guys. So there's the gen set. It's a two cylinder, 13 horse Kubota. Electric start, glow plug, electric fuel pump. The exhaust is out right there. And I've got a uh, type of a mini split for heat and AC and gives me all the power I could want. I believe it's 7,500 KW. Right now, the cooling system for the generator is looped through the motor. There is supposed to be a radiator right here. I'm having troubles finding one. It sprung a leak. But that's not the end of the world. I can still use the generator as long as it's below, you know, 90 degrees. It works just fine. So I really hope that answered all the questions. Um, got some clips here towards the end of the video of it uh, bringing the, the Pro Star home. And it's just going to hang out up there until I decide what I want to do with it. It'd be cool to throw something in it, a cat or whatever, and just sell it. I mean, that would be one hell of a truck with a, with a real engine in it. So y'all have a great day. Enjoy the, the last two clips and appreciate you watching. Well, howdy do to everybody from snowy Idaho Falls. Show you what we're doing today. So we got the K-Dub there. Got loaded yesterday. This morning, picked up the Proto 9 here to go uh, get this thing. Got her all hooked up. ready to rock lights working I think she's high enough off the ground there the wiring tied up light bar installed seems like a good enough place for it to me I forgot my keys so I had to pry the window down and deal with that Steering wheel tied. So that's that. I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat and get this thing home. Should be home in about eight hours. We'll catch y'all later. I sure does do some fun of things. Look at all that. It's like a Pro Star popsicle. The light quit spinning, but at least it's still working. Look at this. Just nuts. Okay, just a few more hours to go. Well, when your truck blows the engine with full fuel tanks and you finally get her home, you just pump it into the other truck. She's a pumping. Picked that up on Amazon for 15 bucks, pumping hose. And we got her going. Well, howdy doody, everybody. Got the old Pro Star home. I've had a lot of people ask me what happened to it, and I still don't know. Uh, the, uh, the coolant is in the oil pan. But I'll climb up there and show you what I did do. So, my buddy's Pro Star is having an oil pressure problem, so we're going to check my sensor throw that in his truck and see if the problem persists if it's time to kick his truck down the road or if it's just a bad sensor so that's why the charge pipe is off um, of course when it let go fuel tanks on this thing were completely full so I'm gonna in the process of pumping all the fuel into the k-dub over there but let's climb up there and see what we found so there's one piece of the valve cover it's also broken up there there's another piece and there's another piece still bolted back there. The cam looks to be all in place. The Jake housings are still all in place. So, I'm not real sure. Um, obviously, it was critical, whatever happened. And uh, I'm not really going to tear it down, I don't think, and figure it out if this uh, 
if I decide to put it back on the road, I'll drop a mechanical cat or N14, maybe even a Detroit in here. But that's that's yet to be seen. Um, I am gonna part out most of it. Uh, you know, four new drive tires. I believe the ECM is spoken for, AC condenser is spoken for. Well, let me know what you need. And we'll go from there. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I'm imagining cracked head, drop the valve, something along those lines. But pretty violent, whatever happened. So, anyways, you guys all uh, have a good day.